Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne and eczema and psoriasis and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing, renewing, regenerating system designed divinely to renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, skin health, ingredients, formulations, something you may have read about or heard about, we want to hear from you. We can help you out. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010. And of course, if you have a success story or even if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll get your calls in the bottom of the hour, as we always do. If you're interested in purchasing any of our Longevity products, any of the products we recommend or advertise in the program, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com, or my blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com, both of which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. Thank you to Robert Lundgren and Jonathan Collier for setting those up. Also, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team to order products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. Call one 866 735-2470, And if you want to purchase any of our skin health products, Truth Treatment Skin Health products, Retinol 5% Gel, you're not going to see that anywhere else, folks. Retinol 5%, that's not, uh, um, that's not a mistake. 5%. The, uh, if you go, if you go uh, to a salon or doctor's office or any, anywhere where you buy intense, powerful retinol products, You'll get maybe 1% or 2% max, usually around 0.5%. And don't be bamboozled by the silly, misleading, dishonest products on the Internet that say they have 2.5% or 5% or 4% retinol. They don't. If you're not paying over $100 for your retinol product, the chances are pretty good that you got a, a fraudulent product because retinol is very pricey and also very unstable for that matter. But if you use our truth treatment products, not only will you not have to deal with instability issues, but you're going to get a kick butt. I'm talking five times the amount of retinol that you'll see in even the most intense retinol products not to mention vitamin C, not to mention no preservative, no fragrance, no silicon, no oil, no fillers, no waxes, no nothing that your skin doesn't need. That's what the truth is all about. All right, we're talking inflammation and fats. And when I say fats, I'm talking essential fatty acids, EFAs. This is all as it has to do with the skin and hormones. And really, EFAs are tremendously, tremendously multifunctional. And the fact that they're so, so, so important, multifunctional, they're involved in so many different systems in the body, is one of the reasons why trans fats, hydrogenated fats, processed fats, cooked fats are so problematic. You know, in a way... Our health crisis parallels the health crisis, that, and nobody would deny that we have a serious health crisis in this country with chronic degenerative diseases and inflammatory diseases and cancer and autoimmune diseases. We've got a serious health mess going on, and ironically or maybe not ironically, 
our health challenges have increased at the same rate as our ingestion of these kinds of fats. In fact, the development and the, uh, the entrance and the uh, building up of these kinds of fats in the food supply, processed fats, I mean, and hydrogenated fats and trans fats, as they made up, make up uh, over the course of a, a century or so, as they've made up more and more uh, larger proportions of our dietary calories, heart disease has gone up, cancer has gone up, autoimmune disease has gone up. They almost went up parallel. We developed these kinds of fats, these processed fats and trans fats, about the turn of the 20th century. Crisco was the first one, actually the mid-19th century. But really, they didn't get going. We didn't get, uh, the, uh, these trans fats and hydrogenated fats and processed fats didn't really get going as such a major component of our daily caloric intake until probably the early, uh, early 20th century, early 1900s. And right along with the increase in, in, in the proportion of our caloric intake that these fats made up, right along with that increase came an increase of all the diseases that we suffer from. And for good reason, because when your body doesn't have EFAs, which most of us don't, it will substitute these processed fats and trans fats into cells, into cellular chemistry, and it doesn't work because they're not the same things. They're destroyed. They're, they're manipulated. They're, they're deteriorated. They're franken fats. They're monstrous fats, and the body's trying to stick them in cells and stick them in chemistry. You can't help but have inflammatory diseases. You can't help but have uh, circulatory diseases. You can't help but have immune system diseases. You can't help but have neurological issues. The body's trying to use French fry fat to make cells. It's trying to use French fry fat to create chemistry. It ain't going to happen, and the net result has to be disease. So if you had to pick one thing, I mean, I hate to have to say pick one thing, but a, you had to pick one supplement, a case could certainly be made for that supplement being your ultimate EFAs or being essential fatty acids. The EFAs are the molecules of inflammation, among other things. They do a lot of things, but for our purposes here, at least today, they're the molecules of inflammation, meaning when the body needs to inflame, i.e. protect itself, that's what inflammation is, when the body needs to protect itself by inflammation, it uses EFAs. Specifically, it uses omega-6s. Remember, there's two kinds, omega-6 and omega-3. It uses the omega-6s to inflame, and when it needs to calm down, it uses the omega-3s tweaked versions of the omega-6s, tweaked versions. They're called icosanoids or prostaglandins, but we're just going to call them omega-6s and omega-3s. So when the body needs to inflame, it uses the 6s. When it needs to calm down, it uses the 3s. And these inflammatory and anti-inflammatory things, responses, chemistry, it's always happening in the body. That means omega-6s and omega-3s are constantly being used up. And that's why you need a steady supply of both. That's why you need the ultimate EFAs every day throughout the day, really. So I say three capsules in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. If you have any health challenge and you're deficient in your EFAs, that health challenge will improve once you start supplementing. And if you have any health challenge, the chances are pretty good that EFAs are involved or deficiencies are out of balance. If we ingest the wrong, if we ingest the trans fats and the hydrogenated fats and the body tries to stick stick these french fry fats into cells and chemistry, that's a problem. That's a big problem. But it's also a problem if we get the wrong balance of omega-6s, the pro-inflammatory omega-6s, to the omega-3s. But we're going to throw off the balance of inflammation to anti-inflammation, and that can also be a problem. So it can be a problem if we ingest the cooked, processed, french fry, potato chip fats, or it can also be a problem if we get the wrong balance of sixes to threes. And guess what? In 21st century America, if we're not supplementing or we're not aware of, of our nutritional intake, we're going to be out of balance because aside from the fact that it's difficult to get EFAs in general because they're so unstable and they're not found in foods, aside from that, most of the foods we eat are omega-6 foods not omega-3 foods. Most of the oils we eat are omega-6 oils and not omega-3 oils. That's because of cost. That's because of money. That's because of price. Omega-3s are pricey. Omega-6s are cheap. Omega-6s are commodities. Omega-3s require going out of your way to get them. And that's why most of us, or one of the reasons why most of us are so out of whack 
in our omega-6s to omega-3s, and it's why supplementing is so important. Because in a supplement, you get the right balance if it's a, a well-formulated well formulated supplement like the Ultimate EFAs. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got more to say about fats and inflammation, and you and your phone calls at 844-236-6010. We'll be back after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we're back on the bright side. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or ingredients, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you or a loved one has a health challenge, we'd love to hear from you. 844-236-6010. Is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. Okay, so omega 3s, omega 6s, seriously, seriously fundamental aspect of nutrition. Fats tend to be pricey much pricier than the water-soluble nutrients, the Bs and the Cs certainly, and the electrolytes. In fact, I would say fats and fatty vitamins too, but especially your essential fatty acids are going to be the most expensive of your nutritional supplements. That's because they're so unstable. And this instability also means that unless you're supplementing, you're probably not going to get the EFAs that you need. And that's a big problem because these things are super related to the inflammatory system. They are the inflammatory system and the anti-inflammatory system. Now, aside from the fact that we don't get enough EFAs in total and that we get the wrong kinds of fats, and this is behind a lot of our health challenges, including heart disease, EFA deficiency is way more connected to heart disease, by the way, than uh, cholesterol, this idiotic, with a capital I, idea that cholesterol causes heart disease. It's not even an idea. Nobody ever, do you know nobody would ever tell you that cholesterol causes heart disease who has even an iota of understanding about how biochemistry works, but they, it's, a, it's a, a correlation issue. They don't say it causes it. They say it's related. It's correlated. That's nonsense. But EFAs are cause, uh, EFA deficiency is causally related to heart disease. That means it causes heart disease. Nobody's going to tell you that cholesterol causes heart disease. I'll tell you, well, it seems to be related. It seems that there's a higher proportion of people who have heart disease and have high cholesterol. No, there ain't no causal relationship. Nobody's ever shown a causal connection between cholesterol and heart disease. On the other hand, if you understand chemistry and biochemistry, you can see how a deficiency in EFAs is going to be a classic mechanism for causing heart attacks and strokes and, and, and thick blood and all the other aspects of cardiovascular disease. Even the drug companies know this. This is what Loveza is about. Loveza is an EFA, omega-3, fake omega-3 fat that costs you $100 or $120 a month. For uh, Your doctor will write, write a prescription for it. Now, your insurance company might pay for it, but you get the real stuff out of food and out of uh, your ultimate EFAs. So anyway... EFA deficiency is a big problem. Out of balance EFAs are also a problem. The deck is stacked towards omega sixes in our uh, in our culture, in our food processing culture, how we eat, especially processed foods. It's the the deck is stacked towards omega sixes because they're cheaper than the omega threes. Omega sixes are abundant in nature. Pro inflammatory omega sixes are found everywhere, particularly in grains which is what most of us are eating, or what the standard American diet largely consists of. Even animals today that ordinarily don't eat grains are fed grains. Even our fish are fed grains. Even our uh, cows are fed grains. Why? Because grains are cheap. We're out of balance on omega-6s and omega-3s for money reasons, for commodity reasons, for, for cheapness reasons. It's how we get to buy a hamburger for a dollar. You notice how ridiculously cheap fast food is? A hamburger for like... I don't even know. I haven't been to a McDonald's in a while or any of those places, but they're less than a buck for a hamburger. Why? Because they're all subsidized. The cows are all subsidized. The, the meat is subsidized via grain by, by, uh, by government subsidies to, grain far to corn farmers and grain farmers. Not that I'm ripping on farmers, by the way. But the fact is, is that the grains that the cattle are eating are ridiculously cheap because they're subsidized. That gives us cheap burgers, and that gives us, for most of us anyway, an out-of-balance 
that throws off our balance of omega-6s to omega-3s. It's very easy to get the omega-6s. It ain't so easy to get the omega-3s. Omega-3 is technically called ALA, alpha linoleic acid. That's technically the term for omega-3, ALA. Or I shouldn't say that. I should say the essential fatty acid version of omega-3 is called ALA. There's other types of omega-3, 